morning all uh, let's start with the today's class uh, the today's topic is http request message there are two types of http message uh, the first one is your request message and the second one will be your response message so when we are going to send any kind of http message from one host to another host the message whatever has sent from the first host <clears throat> is known as your request message and when we will get any acknowledgement back that is known as your response message so now what is this http request message this http request message follows one readable format that is nothing but that is your ascii human readable format <clears throat> here what will happen is it will have some kind of your uh, like a get post head commands so that uh, commands and all is known as your request line so first line whenever we will send any request message we have to follow this format the first line is known as your request line and in this request line the line has to start with your get post or head commands detail in commands also we will see now so once i have used the command as get command it has to get whatever the path name has been written it has to retrieve the data from here the next one is this is suppose my path name that is a web html web based uh, file so index.html next i have used http slash 1.1 is my version name r is nothing but it will be having the carriage return uh, character if there will be any character which has to be written back that is known as your carry uh, return character so it is going to return that much of bits of data La last one will be nothing but that is your n it is line feed character it is going for the next lines so next what we are going to do the next from the host to till last you can see these all are your header lines so in these header lines you have to mention that what kind of uh, from where you are sending what is the user agent what kind of language encoding character set what all are the things you are sending all these things it is it has to mention so here in this line who is the host uh, the host will be mine uh, www.net.cs this is my host uh, website and every line will carry with your r and n because if anything character will be left out for this line it has to carry forward for your next line and n for your next line feed it is going to give so this is my host what is the next one that is my user agent what is user agent we are i have been used here that is firefox i have used here what is the version name for this 3.6.10 so this is the version i have used for my firefox this is known as my user agent so here also i have been used my r and n so next one it is going to accept what kind of file it is going to accept it is going to get it because i have used the get command so what kind of files it is going to accept it can accept the text file the html file the application any kind of applications xhtml files or xml files so these all are the files it can it has the ability to accept what is the next one accept language which kind of language it can accept only the us english it is going to accept so this is all about your accept language next one will be your accept encoding what kind of encoding you can make it as your zip folder and you can send what is the character set it is going to follow these all are your character set it is going to follow so now the keep alive how for how much time it is it is going to be alive for 115 milliseconds next one will be the connections you are going to give this connection which connection for this keep alive connections once this much will be done then the tcp connection is going to close so this is all about your uh, how to write the request message format now moving towards the next one this is a general format of your http request message so here you are going to see so some of the uh, like it is there so here you have to see that this is your method then sp start pointer url version cr then if so here what will happen is the first line is nothing but your request line then the next line will be your header lines where you are going to uh, write the 
message so here the first one will be your header field name then the value then cr and if so here all these things you are going to write so this is carriage the uh, next the last one will be your entity body you are going to write the message in this format only this no, this is known as your http request message format <clears throat> so now next moving towards the next slide so here you can see the other http request message what we have the other request http request message that is the first one is your post method we can use all these things so what is the first one that is your post method what is this post method the web page this web page of only now let's see the other http request message we have some four variety of methods the first one is your post method next is your get method then head method then put method we have this kind of http request message so what is the meaning of your post method this post method is nothing but it has to be included in the web page as a input so you have to include this web page inside your uh, inside your web page as an input so and this user input has to be sent from your client to the server in the entity body in the entity body you have to write we have already seen the entity body how it looks like and in that entity body it is going to be added and as your http post request message so this post method you have to write when you are going to send the message from client to server you have to write this method inside the request message inside the uh, entity body what is the get method where you are going to use if uh, the get method you are going to use when you are going to send the data directly to the server so it has to include user data in the url field you have seen the example the first line we have written get then slash then we have written the url so here to get the request message we are using this get method and it has to be written inside your url field what is your head method this head method this one the what is the work of this head method it requests the headers that would be returned if the specified url were requested with an http get method the meaning of this head method is if you have been used this get method inside your http message and you are requested to get the url back that time you have to write this head method that is a work of your head method where to use this put method this put method the work is it will upload the new file or any object file from the to the server so it is going to upload the file to the server that time you have to use put put then slash then file name directly it will put this file inside the server and also one more work is there that is completely replace the file that exists at specified url with the content in entity body of post http request message also you can place the url suppose if you want some you are some content is there in some of the url if directly you will write put that url name then directly from that url it can take all the contents and it can put directly to the server so that is also no man give examples to each method no which one give examples to now let's see how the http response message will looks like because http request message we have sent by using the four methods now we have to see how the http response message is uh, looks uh, response message looks like the first one always it will be as your status line so here what we are going to do http 1.1 if you have remembered the last request message has been sent to your server as your http 1.1 so here this is your http 1.1 then 200 there are some codes are there the meaning of this codes i will let you know i will tell you what is the meaning of this code here i have written 200 then you have pressed the okay then r and n so here if the meaning is that 
the command whatever we have sent from the request message that to get the connection in between request message to the response message here the response message has come like http 1.1 okay this 200 means connection established so we cannot try the lines here so that's the reason some lines we have notified as the code that codes we have to um, uh, remember here 200 mentioned means it means that connection established there are five varieties of codes i will let you know everything the next one is status code or status phrase so here what we are going to do we have to write date when automatically all this message will come in your header lines so date suppose today's date it has been given the time has been given which format of date has been given so from which server it is going to receive this is the server name and the version name so what is the last modified whatever the whatever the url we are getting any modification has happened if happened when the last modification happened that also date and time has been mentioned here then what is what has been tagged this is a file name which has been tagged inside our request message automatically these values will come now what is the accept range we are going to accept all the uh, messages in terms of our bytes what will be the content length the message the request message length has to be in between 2652 bytes of data so keep alive how much time maximum we can we can be set or we will be alive to set the uh, to have the connections this is my time out time or maximum i can be 100 milliseconds of time then the connections will be keep alive it has to take these values to be alive or to uh, accept the values from my http request message then what will be the content type it can accept it can accept only text or html files the character sets will be like this so in this way we are going to send uh, send receive the message from the request once the request message has sent so this one will be the format of response message now here we can we have to see i told you that some codes will be there what are the meaning of that code so here we have written 200 okay in the last example we have used 200 okay it means that connection established or request succeeded request object letter in this message so uh, in this line means that whatever the object has been requested it has been written in your header lines so there are some of the uh, like codes are there 301 it means the file has been moved permanently there is no such files whatever the request message is asking there is no such files are available in the server so it will uh, send you as 301 what is a 400 so normally we used to get whenever we will use the internet sometimes we used to get this kind of code 400 and 404 what is the meaning of this 400 means it is a very bad request whatever the request has been sent from the http side it's not understood by the server that's the reason it has sent back the response as 400 it means it is a very bad request what is the meaning of your 404 the 404 means the request whatever you have given it is that the document is not found on this server the document is not available so in that time you are going to get the code number as 404 now 505 means whatever the http version what http version we are using here 1.1 so 1.1 version if it own support then it you cannot establish the connections in between your http response to http request message 